Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Adam here with Indy Farm Life. So I've had a number of you ask me, Adam, are you still working on the basement? I sure am. This thing has been a serious time commitment, but we are closing in. Let me show you guys around. We'll start back here in the utility area, which my son likes to call the dirty part of the basement. But I went ahead and used some scrap drywall they left laying and sheeted that wall since that's the shower wall there. What do you guys think? It's coming along nicely, huh? I'll give you a little tour room by room and let you know what else I have to do. Back here in this bedroom, things are mostly put together. Really in here all I have to do is a little bit more shoe mold along the bottom there. Hang that ceiling fan, I think some hardware on that door there and this room would be done. So it's nice to be able to start closing doors. This bathroom here, pretty well done. I think there's really just some cleaning and a shower curtain hardware there this turned out really nicely my wife did a really nice job picking out all the finishes and i uh i just have to execute on them we'll save all this here for a moment you head back this way if you recall we talked about this being our laundry room it was originally just a closet in our plans but we thought it best to add a stackable unit down here since we have the bedroom we have the bathroom we're gonna have a lot of towels and whatnot from the pond. So in here, I really just need to, at some point, add some shelving or some cabinetry to kind of hold linens and things of that nature. But it's gonna be very, very nice to have this down here in our basement. This is ultimately gonna be the home gym. It obviously does not have a floor in it. It's gonna get that rubber matting whenever we turn it into a gym. However, this is gonna stay this way for quite a while. This has been my workshop, if you will. With all of that being finished and having the flooring down, I was bringing doors in here and painting them, painting trim in here, and gonna still use this for one other project down here in the basement. So I'll show you that in a moment. And I'm also gonna hold off on putting that fan up for now, which is sitting over there. This is the closet we added in our home gym. And obviously the hardware needs to be put on those doors, but here's something cool we did in this basement. So we have a small closet here, but we put a set of double doors on the back of it as well. So we can use this as a pass-through to bring in gym equipment like that elliptical or anything large that we don't want to be going across the nice flooring out there. Or if we have, you know, a large couch that needs to come in, it still has to make it through the three foot door there. But if it can't quite make that turn and make that three foot door, we have double doors to bring things into the space, which would be really nice. Another thought I had, as to why we put that second set of doors there is to be able to move gym equipment in and out of here pretty quickly if we need to. We love to host, and so this could very well be a room that people stay in when they visit sometimes. So if we can take the equipment out of here quickly and throw in some air beds, extra bedroom. Works out well. And we did put a set of speakers in the ceiling in here, one there and over there, to be able to put music in here while we're working out with the volume control knob will live right here. So this wall is gonna be our TV viewing wall and I'm angling for a sizable TV to go up here. However, before we can do that, we have to build some built-in cabinetry. But what my wife wants is a vertical stack of cabinets, floor to ceiling here, same on the other side. Then across the bottom, we'll have a bench kind of connecting everything. So you'll have a vertical run, the bench, and a vertical run. and All this down here will be cabinet doors with the sides likely being open. Planning to put a front speaker on the left, on the right, and then I'll have my center channel. The back of that, where the TV goes, is gonna get a lot of milled up lumber and long strips across there stained, and that'll be the backdrop for which the TV will sit upon. So, quite a bit of work to do here. I will document that process, but I think it's gonna be pretty fun to work through this and make this kind of the centerpiece of the room that I want it to be. Over this way, we have the stairs going up, and you guys can see that that's kind of a gray up there, and we got this tan, so I gotta paint the whole stairwell yet. And then once that's done, gotta come back and do paint on my risers and trim. And more importantly, though, I gotta sand these stairs down, stain, and poly them. Uh, these treads are red oak, which is what this handrail is, so it'll end up looking a lot like this. And then my son's favorite space. This here was just supposed to be a closet, I think as I told you guys in an earlier video, I opted to take the closet that was supposed to stop right here and I opened it up under the stairs. 
And so this has become my son's and my daughter's workshop slash playroom. Let me tell you guys, he loves coming in here. And I'm sure at some point he's probably gonna have a little bed down in there. But this has been a fantastic space and a good reason for him to come down here and help me work as I've been working on the basement. I really love that light. My wife picked that out. Um, works well above that table. A table we had laying around from our old house when we moved into our new home. We kept it and knew we were gonna kind of repurpose it for that space, which is gonna be nice to have down here. And then the kitchen, this turned out beautifully. Still cleaning things up and putting pots and pans and whatnot away, but this was not the original layout that we had in our plans. The original layout called for a bar kind of coming right off this wall with the fridge being tucked in the corner. The space was just not big enough and this whole area is gonna be dead space. So we reconfigured it and we were able to get a full kitchen down here. So we got our, our dishwasher, the sink and garbage disposal, stove and microwave, dad's drinks, mom's drinks, morning drinks, and an ice maker. So this is gonna be a fantastic space. I can't wait to entertain down here with family and friends. And then up here, this is kind of unfinished floating shelves. So those, what you see there are just the brackets. I believe they're called shepherd brackets. Um, what's nice about these is, you know, when you go to put them up here, it's easy to level them up because these aren't individual pieces. There, there are cheaper alternatives out there to this kind of bracket but each one of these pieces is independent. When it comes to leveling, you gotta level them individually. So not the easiest, but I got those up before the tile work happened. So I'll have to pull them down. And again, I'm gonna plane down some of the wood we milled up and stain some shelves and get those up there. And I know I mentioned it in a previous video, but I don't know if you saw it, but this space out here does have a pair of speakers here. And then we got uh, one in the back wall on both sides. I love surround sound and can't wait to have this be a you know fully immersive experience but i also want to be cognizant of not having big gaudy speakers kind of everywhere wires running on the floor for towers in the corners and whatnot so that was my solution we'll see if it works and all of that is going to be powered by a receiver not likely that one but or that one because it's broken but it'll live kind of in this little cabinetry area and like i said i'll make a video at some point detailing how I did all this whole home audio with the volume control knobs here on the wall. It's a pretty nice setup. It functions well and quite honestly it's much cheaper than some of the solutions that are on the market. So like I said this has been a serious time commitment getting it to this point. We did jump over a big hurdle though this week and got our final inspection approved by the county. So as far as they go and our permit goes we are done. Before we can really start enjoying the space and have our big couch and TV down here got to get this whole wall built out which is going to be quite a bit of work, but I'm excited to tackle it because that's a whole lot more fun than laying flooring like that and painting. And let's not forget that it is summertime. And so I have been chomping at the bit, working on this basement late at night when everyone's in bed, trying to get it done so I can get back out there and do all the things that I really want to do, like get this pond structure into the bottom of the pond. Most some of this grass that is just out of control, clean up this ditch, build a lean-to on the other side of my barn, a swing set for the kids and about 25 other things because let me tell you i would much rather be out here working on this part of the property than in my basement on beautiful days like this but you know what sometimes in life you just got to play the hand that you're dealt and get things done when you can and when they're necessary but i will say i've been missing that old thing so hopefully you guys think the basement turned out as well as i did like i said it's not fully buttoned up yet and i won't consider it done until that wall with the tv is done and here soon, I'm gonna have to try to document the size of some of the fish in this pond. They're growing quite nicely. But as always, thanks for swinging through the channel, guys. If you would, hit that subscribe button, come back and see me, and see what I'm up to next. You never quite know what project I'm gonna get into next. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.